Hey everybody, uh, this lesson is addition and we're regrouping uh, not just the ones and not just the tens, but both the ones and the tens. So here our question is, um, uh, how do we know when to regroup in addition? Okay, so if we ever, uh, well, we'll talk about it when we get there, okay? So let's write an addition problem to find the answer and then draw a quick picture to show that each sum is correct. Okay, so quick pictures, we can draw like the squares and the, and the straight lines for a ten stick. The square would be a hundreds flat. And then little dots or circles, little small circles, will be our ones. Okay, so there are 259 girls and 304 boys at Dingle Elementary School. That's the school I went to. Uh, how many children are at Dingle Elementary School? Okay, so here's our addition problem. So we're going to uh, add 259 plus 304. And this, this, uh, this block up here, I'll show you this block uh, up here. Let's see, I can grab this. You can probably see this. So this block right here is going to be because we're going to carry a 10. So we're going to go ahead and add these two numbers first, 9 plus 4. 9 plus 4 is 13. Whoops, I'm sorry. So let's uh, draw the quick picture also, okay? So, um, sorry about that. So this 200, this is in the 100 spot. So here's our two squares for the 200s. Now we'll draw five sticks right here for the 10. So let's do that. So there's our five sticks for this 500. This 500 represents these five sticks right here. And then these nine ones, we're going to do nine ones. We'll stack five of them here and then four of them right next to them, okay? So here's um, uh, the one, two, three, four, five. And then we usually stack them in fives and then six, seven, eight, nine. Now let's do the same for the, the 304 right there, okay? That 304. So here's 300 right there, the three blocks right there. Okay, so this three represents these three um, uh, squares right here. Those are our hundreds flats. Now we don't have any tens, so I'm not going to put any tens sticks right here, but I am going to put four ones right here. So here's the four ones right there, okay? Now let's go ahead and add those together. So now we're going to add, um, we're going to go ahead and add these nine ones plus these four ones. So we're going to add all of these right here. Nine uh, plus four is going to give us 13 ones. So here's nine right here. So here's 10, 11, 12, 13. So 13 ones um, is going to give us... Um, uh, one ten and three one. So so let's take out uh, let's take out this guy right here and just move it up there. And then we have two stacks of five, which gives us one of these ones or these ten sticks right here. So I'm going to go ahead and um, uh, and take those out. So over here. Let me take that over here. So over here we have um, uh, we have the one ten. So I put it in the tens column right here, and the three ones. So here's our thirteen. Okay. So thirteen ones is the same as one ten and three ones. Okay. Now over here, these um, ten ones are going to make one of these guys right there. So what I'm going to do is is go ahead and put that in right there. Okay. So these, um, and notice I took that guy out because we slid it up there. And so we have these 10 ones gives us this tens stick right here. So, so now we can go ahead and add them together. Okay. So now let's add the 10. So we have 110 plus 510 plus 0 tens. Okay. So we have this 110 right here plus this 5 tens and there's 0 tens right there. So that's going to give us 6 tens. Okay. So now we can go ahead. We've added the six tens. Let's go ahead and add the hundreds. We have these two plus three or two plus three. That's going to give us 500 right there. Okay. So these fives, uh, these 500 blocks represents this 500. So our answer is 563. Let's answer this in the context of this question. How many children are at Dingle Elementary School? There are 563 students at Dingle Elementary School. Okay. All right. So sometimes we will regroup more than once in addition problems. So here we go. Let's go ahead and do that with this guy right here. Okay. So we're going to go ahead and add uh, nine ones plus six ones gets us 15 ones. Nine plus six is 15. 15 ones is the same as this 110 and these five ones right here. So we'll carry this one right up here and put it in the tens. So now let's add these tens. So one plus five plus seven. That's going to get us 13 tens. So 13 tens, you guys. These 13 tens is the same as um, this one, this 100 
plus three tens right there. So 13 tens is the same as 103 tens. Okay, and then we're going to go ahead and add uh, the hundreds right here. So 1 plus 2 plus 4 gets us uh, 700 right there. So there's our answer, 700. 35 right there okay so I, I'm using this little pointer right here because you, you can't see my cursor at least I, I can't see it so I don't know if you can so I found maybe I'll try this I'm just experimenting maybe we can see that okay all right so let's do the same right here we're gonna go ahead and add the ones right here so when we add these ones 4 plus 9 is 13 ones or 110 and 3 ones okay so now we're gonna add the tens column so 1 plus 8 plus 2 1 plus 8 plus 2 is 11 tens so 11 tens is the same as this 100 plus 110 right there Okay, so 11 tens is uh, 100 and 110 right there. Now we can add the hundreds column right here. 1 plus 1 plus 3 is going to get us 5. So there's 513. That's our answer. Let's try that with this one. Okay, so let's go ahead and add the 7 and the 3 ones. So 7 ones plus 3 ones gets us 10 ones or, or uh, 110 and then zero ones right there okay so ten ones is the same as one ten and zero one now we can add the tens column one plus two is three three plus five is eight so there's no carry on this one so so we're not going to carry into the hundreds right there so we just carry down that eight now we can add we can go ahead and add um, uh, the hundreds column three plus three well three plus three is six so we get six hundred eighty is our final answer okay let's try another one here you guys okay all right so here we're going to go ahead and add the five plus two five ones plus two ones gets us seven ones and there's no carry it's not 17 it'd have to be 17 to be a carry so it's just seven ones so we're not going to carry into the tens column so now we can add this seven tens plus seven tens gets us 14 tens okay 14 tens is going to be the same as 104 tens right there okay so we carry the one for the 14 so this one right here goes in the hundred spot and we have four tens and we can add this one plus three is four plus two more is six so we get 600 right there okay one more okay all right let's go ahead and add uh, the nine plus three nine ones plus three ones gets us 12 ones okay now 12 ones is the same as as one ten and two ones so here's our one ten and two ones in the ones column now we can add the tens column one plus eight plus two well eight plus two is ten so plus that one right there it's going to get us eleven eleven tens okay eleven tens is the same as one hundred and one ten so this number always gets carried in the next column over to the left right there okay and then here's the the, the tens right there okay so now let's add these hundreds one plus six plus i'm sorry one plus one is two two plus six is is eight so we get eight hundred twelve all right, you guys, I hope that makes sense. Hey, and if that little arrow thing helped, I'd, I'd appreciate a comment on there if you could see that. Uh, or if it didn't help, I'd appreciate that too. All right, you guys, take care.